everybody. My name is Yoshi Terauchi. I like to introduce you to the new AI motor right here. This new motor has two new features. One is what we call T mode. The other one is the increased speed. So let me show you what is the T mode. T mode you can select two modes. For example, you can start with the SGP. SGP means safety glide path. In, in other words, this motion allows uh, watch winding motion. So let me show you. First, you can adjust the, the angles of the rotation. So I selected 90 degrees. Then you can change the speed, 100. Then you can select whatever you like, like a, a, a clockwise motion or counterclockwise motion or automatic reciprocating motion. So I like to select the reciprocating motion, ATR. Then you can select the speed, 100 RPM, and you can increase the speed up to, let's say, 500 RPM, but I want to select 300. Then you can select the torque. Right now, 0.4 Newton centimeters. Then you can change the rotational angle. I selected 240. Then you can you can select the reverse angle. This is 90 degrees. Then you can start. And this mode allows you to bypass a ledge. So I use the T mode to bypass a ledge. So the other new feature is the speed. For example, you can select clockwise motion and you can increase the speed up to 2000 500 RPM. So this is new. And you can reduce the speed down to 100 RPM. So this is new. Okay? So let me bypass a ledge. Okay? So I'm going to use the T mode. Okay, so I put the file into the canal. Then spin it. If you push it, there's a, there's a ledge here. You cannot go beyond the ledge. So in this case, I will use the T mode. T mode allows you to use watch winding motion. If you use a pecking motion like this, you see the file is climbing up the wall if you keep using the up and down motion. So here, so once you get into the, the original can canal, click it, then you have automatic reciprocating motion. So this is very efficient in shaping the original canal. Up and down, up and down. So, while shaping the root canal, you see the ledge is getting reduced. Now, ledge is almost gone. So this is how you use the T-mode. I hope you enjoyed it.